everyone, it's Emily. Welcome back on my channel. Today's video is going to be all about makeup products you need from Sephora. The Sephora VIB sale is approaching, there's the holidays, and basically it's always a great time to talk about favorite products at Sephora. So I want to share with you my recommendations, some favorites, some things that are currently on my own wish list, and some things I'm planning on picking up for friends for the holidays. So quite a few great products I wanted to share. By the way, I did do a video all about my Sephora must-haves all-time favorite video, which was quite long but very detailed, so I will be linking it so you can check it out if you want to see more recommendations. But these products, I believe most of these, if not all of them, were not on that list, so they're newer products that I really wanted to share with you. I feel like everyone has been going crazy over eyeshadow palettes during last year, and I'm part of those people because there's so many great ones that have been coming out. The Anastasia Beverly Hills uh, Modern Renaissance Palette, the Urban Decay Naked Heat, which are two gorgeous warm eyeshadow palettes. But the most recent palette that I fell in love with is the Too Faced Just Peachy Matte Eyeshadow Palette. And I feel like this is basically what everyone kind of wished the Sweet Peach Palette had been. I feel like there's a lot of gorgeous peach colors and then there's a few like warm shades that go really, really well with it. And overall, mattes are always a must have for me. I feel like you can find so many really amazing shimmery metallic eyeshadow colors, but mattes are so difficult to find. I feel like sometimes they're just not as great in quality as the shimmery ones. So finding a palette full of mattes is always the best thing ever. Plus the best way to make me want to buy a product is to make it smell like something and the palette smells like peaches. Who doesn't want their makeup to smell like peaches? Which kind of brings me to my like second 1.5 makeup product because I am dying to get the Tarte Toasted Eyeshadow Palette. I have seen it everywhere and I am dying to get my hands on it. I feel like I've been really enjoying the Tarte Tartelette, Tartelette in Bloom palette. So now that they're coming out with a warm eyeshadow palette, the toasted one, I feel like I just need it. Clearly, only the last thing you need is another warm eyeshadow palette, but I'm still gonna get it, so it's totally on my wish list. You will be seeing it in my Sephora haul because it's just needed in my life. So if you were wondering, that is totally one of the things I will be picking up during the sale. The next product has been so hyped on YouTube that it actually took me a while to get it because I was like, ah, it just seems like another product is overhyped and that probably isn't worth the hype and the money. So it took me a while to try it and I totally regret it. I am totally obsessed with it and you're probably tired of seeing it everywhere, but once you try it yourself, you will completely understand why everyone is so in love with the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. You just need it in your life. It's amazing. I'm totally wearing it today. I have the shade Light, which is kind of my only complaint with the line is the fact that it's a very warm shade range. So you're gonna have trouble finding a shade that matches you if you have like a cooler undertone or even a neutral undertone, which I do have. And this is literally the only one that I saw for myself that was kind of okay. I'm really lucky that it actually matches perfectly. Most of the time during the year too, so it's not just like a summer or winter shade. So I'm so happy to have found this because it gives me flawless under eyes and it's full coverage and it doesn't seem to dry out my under eyes. I do have dehydrated under eyes, which Feels the case with most people in general, but this lasts, lasts, this lasts all day and it covers my dark circles and I feel like we're all thinking, oh, my dark circles are so bad, but I mean, mine are kind of bad and I feel like it just covers everything. Adore it, would never be without this. I love it. The tube is actually like pretty big. Like if I compare it to, let's see, a Kat Von D liquid lipstick, you can see how big the tube is and the applicator is ridiculously huge. Like. Who needs an applicator this big? It's literally the size of my eye. But the formula is just amazing and I highly recommend you pick this up either for yourself or someone else during these for sale or the holidays or I mean, any time of the year, it's always a great time to find a new concealer, but this is amazing. Would totally recommend it. Next thing is kind of a mix of me recommending a range of product slash letting you know that they have an amazing limited edition palette that I'm planning on getting a friend. So it's a two-in-one. I mean, who doesn't want more suggestion? And I wanted to talk about the Tarte blushes. They're Amazonian clay 12-hour wear blushes. And clearly, I love them. I have so many of those shades because I can't get enough. But I wanted to talk about the nude colors because these will suit pretty much anyone, no matter what your skin tone or preference is. Clearly, I have a thing for pouring blushes, but you just can't get enough. I adore these, cannot rave enough about them. The formula is really, really soft pigmented but not overly pigmented. They blend flawlessly on the skin and last literally all day. 
I also want to mention that these blushes take absolutely forever to go through, which I mean is amazing when you're using them. It means they're like literally the never ending blushes. So you won't have to purchase them quickly. My most used color from them has to be exposed and I clearly hit pen on this one, which is making me very sad and anxious, but at the same time, I'm like super proud. <laughs> this is one of those shades that pretty much anyone can wear this color and be obsessed with it. It's absolutely fabulous. But I've been raving about this color so much that I wanted to give a shout out to their other nude shades because they are also equally amazing. So you have the color Seduce, which is a little bit of a warmer nude. They're all matte, by the way, because I do prefer matte blushes in general. You have Sensual, which is even warmer, kind of a like, light peachy beige type of color, which doesn't sound appealing, but trust me, on your cheeks, it's magical. Then you have Risqué, which is a little bit pinkier, and again, I also wanted to give a shout out to the color that is included in the uh, birthday gift set every year. Uh, Sephora has a birthday gift for when it's your birthday month. That's how it usually works, Emily. And the color is the color party. And yeah, you totally have to say it like that. It's a little awkward, but that's how it fits. It's also a very pretty light pinky peachy color that kind of nudie, but looks again amazing on your cheeks. So basically, I recommend their blushes, they're amazing, but I'm giving a shout out to their limited edition blush palette, which if you haven't seen it, oh my god, I'm like dying to get it, but I'm getting it for fun, so I'm probably gonna get a chance to play with it a little bit. There's eight blushes and two highlighters in there. They're beautiful and she's gonna lose it whenever she opens her Christmas gifts and she sees that. So if you are a blush lover and you want a chance to try quite a few colors all in one, I highly recommend you check that palette because it's stunning. It can be hard to commit to just one color, especially if you love blushes, but if you're someone that you only want one, I recommend committing to one of these. So I think it's no secret that I have a thing for just cheap products in general. I feel like everyone thinks it's lipsticks, which I mean, it's close second, but cheek anything. I love. And the next product is a totally underrated product, which I need to myself mention more because I don't think I've ever even heard anyone mention it. So I'm including it in here because it needs to be raved about. And you're probably gonna be seeing it on my channel a lot more because I'm making a note to myself to just start talking about it because it's amazing and you totally need it. They have a few shades, so I'm just showing the one that I own. Le Mercier came out with these powders last year, I believe. Those are the Candle Glow Sheer Perfecting Powder. I have the shade one, which is obviously the lightest one. And it kind of looks like shiny powder maybe but what i love about this is depending what your type of makeup is you will totally need this because if you prefer a very glowy not shimmery not frosty not too intense highlighter this is gonna be your jam but if you're someone that you're like no no no, girl i'm all about that glow i want it all over my face you can also use this all over your face so i think it's like the best of both worlds depending if i'm in the mood to be like super shiny or if i just want to be like a natural glowy This is it. It needs, like, I'm seeing this now and I'm like, why am I not like literally bathing in this? This is just the best highlighter ever. And I actually hesitated to get this at first because I really liked their Matte Radiance highlighter, which I'm always raving about. So I was like, oh, do I really need another one? But this is different. The same, but different. We all use that excuse with beauty products, but seriously, you need to get this. They have a few shades. I highly recommend you at least go to Sephora, swatchy swatchy, and you'll notice that, yeah, you need this in your life. I actually had to hunt this because it was nowhere in store and I had to like force everyone at Sephora to look in the little drawers to try and find one for me. And they did, it was the last one. So I've been very, very happy with this. So if you were looking for a new glowy powder or a new highlighter that is very natural, absolutely perfect, I highly recommend you check La Vanessi. The next product is something I have fell in love, like literally in love in the last year. I've been trying a bunch of foundations including the new Fenty Beauty, which I have to admit, it's a really good foundation. I would recommend it if you're looking for something that is like medium coverage, gives you a pretty like matte satin finish. I did like it, but it could not replace this foundation from my heart. Like I, I can't get enough of this. I'm literally wearing this on a daily basis and I refuse to try other things, which is really bad when you're doing beauty videos. So I've been trying to force myself, but at the same time, when you find the one. <laughs> and it is obviously the Lancome Te Idol foundation. Oh my god. I tried this when my skin was dry and I did like it and now my skin is super oily and I like it 
even more. I went through a full bottle of this this year. So, I mean, and this one is like starting to be a little light. So I'm going to have to get a backup because I don't want to be ever without this foundation. And it's so underrated. I feel like I don't hear enough people mention it. And the weird thing is that I was reluctant to try it because I was like, Meh, I don't know. I feel like it doesn't sound exciting. It's not a new product. And I feel like we're always like wanting to try everything that is new. But sometimes an old staple is the best thing and this is what it is it is full coverage but the most natural full coverage like my face looks absolutely flawless every time i wear this the coverage is amazing i've been getting so many compliments on my face on my skin and i'm breaking out girl you just can't tell because of this like literally you can barely barely tell i am breaking out so much around my mouth right now you know that time of the month but can't tell thank you I mentioned earlier that I now have oily skin and I feel like I'm going through it like I'm eating it for breakfast. Like I go through powders like no one's business. And the latest one that I have found is this one. This is the Too Faced Peach Perfect Mattifying Loose Setting Powder. And I just replied a little bit because I was starting to be a little shiny. It's the end of the day and my skin will not survive all day without any powder or any like reapplying anything because it's so it's like my newest favorite just found a powder and I highly recommend it. First of all, it is mattifying, but I like that it's like incredibly soft and it's so fine that you really can't tell that you're actually wearing powder. I know sometimes powders can look a little cakey and sometimes you have to actually blot before reapplying powder. I haven't had an issue with this. I just reapply it on top and nothing is looking cakey. But the best part is the fact that it smells like peaches, which again, who doesn't want their makeup to smell like peaches? Plus you get a ridiculous amount of product. There's 35 grams in here. And if I compare it to other powders that I have on my desk right now, the uh, Cover Effects one, which I clearly do like, I have 10 grams in here. Or if I compare it to the Rimmel Match Perfection, there's 10 grams. So you literally get 3.5 times the amount. I don't think I'm gonna run out of this one quickly, but I'm very happy about it because it's one of my newest favorites. I know I'm not the only one that gets backup streams for sale, either foundation, eyeliners, Brow products are all must-haves, which again, I've recommended in my last video, but I needed to mention mascaras because I know a lot of people get backups during that time of the year, and this one is just my favorite at Zipora. You can't go wrong with it. I'm currently wearing it, but I mean, I'm wearing falsies, so it doesn't really count, actually. You can tell the inner corner, there's nothing, so <laughs> that really doesn't give it justice. I'll include a picture so you can see it, but I wanted to talk about the Benefit Roller Lash Mascara because... I have been raving about this mascara for so long and I always get the 100 point perks at Sephora because I never want to be without this and this is just an awesome mascara. It gives me everything I want a mascara to give me. Length, curl, volume, separation, the illusion of more lashes. I just will never be without this. Last category is lipsticks, which I feel like I can never recommend just one because it's lipsticks. So I will be including in the description box a few of my favorite ones and favorite lines that have lip swatches so that way it's going to be more simple for you to actually go and watch your lip swatches and be able to choose which ones you want either from the sephora cream lip same lines or you have the kat von d line which i've swatched all the colors for both of these range so you totally need to check those videos out because those are incredible formula of liquid lipsticks if you like regular lipsticks i highly recommend the nars audacious lipsticks or the by beauty amuse bush lipsticks because they're so pigmented and soft and opaque and I'm currently wearing right now one of the by beauty one honeycomb and the best part is that this one obviously there's a scent I need to mention it and it smells like pink lemonade so I mean who would have thought pink lemonade is actually better than vanilla scent so so I'm gonna stop right now because literally I could talk about my favorite products from Sephora all day and just recommend you the whole store but those are going to be the products I wanted you to check out at Sephora. Please let me know in the comment section what are your must-have at Sephora, which ones you would recommend people to pick out during the Sephora VIB sales or during the holidays. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. It helps other people find it. Don't forget to subscribe to not miss any future videos. I will be linking on the screen of the videos that I've done. I highly recommend you check those out, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.